through it. <laughs> I, I thought that this is the best time. Come on, let me go and hit All the right. nail. Let me go and hit the nail right now. All right, sure, I'll do that. <laughs> it's good, it's good. Right. And uh, do use that. Uh, and for you and Zena, for both of you, do use uh, that social media uh, planner. Yeah, yeah, uh, well, that's useful. I have. Yeah. Uh, I didn't go through it actually. I, I just got it yesterday because that's a licensed uh, uh, edition, so I can I can give it to my students. So it's a licensed edition. So I thought, let oh, me give great, it. To, yes. Great. So if you want, you can just tweak it around. I know it's PDF. I know it's a PDF format. Uh -huh. It might be a little difficult to uh, tweak it. However, you can create your own Word document and then use okay. it. Right. 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 So, ladies and gentlemen, law. How many of you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 13, 13 of you, good, excellent. So welcome all of you. Thank you. To, again, a weekly session. So let me just check it out. Okay, yeah, there we go. Great. Okay, so evening, we're not, sir. good evening. How are you doing? Evening, sir, namaste. How are you, sir? Namaste, you can see up. Say I'm good. So you are looking quite young in this dress. Because this, after quite a long time, I said to my uh -huh. wife, let me wear a shirt today. Okay. Uh, all right. It's been ages that I just wear my branded T-shirt because my T-shirts are all branded. It's, uh, uh, it was gifted by one of my students. Uh, he is uh, he's an international exporter for uh, and branded product for uh, Adam Soli and uh, all those big, big brands. So he's my coachee and he was so happy with my coaching session. He has given me round about, I think, 24 or something, a set with full of my name. Uh -huh. so it, it okay. just, I didn't even open the box. All those T-shirts that I'm wearing right now, it, those are samples to ensure my, my shoulders are fit. Uh -huh. He goes with the brand. So he, he had given me round about six or seven just for my measurement. And then he has given me the actual one, which I didn't even open. So today I told my wife, because I, I want to see, this, this was one of the most tight fitting for me, this shirt. So I told my wife, if I'm able to fit into the shirt today, that means I have lost my weight. I lost, in fact, I lost 10 kilos in the past uh, uh, two, uh, two, two, two and a half months. I lost around about 10 kilos. So now, and I, I, I told my wife, yes, my tummy has gone in because the shirt has become too loose for me now. So summary, thank you very much for identifying that. Great, so let's start with a question. No, no waiting for anyone. We are just uh, 7.32, we'll go until nine o'clock. So any question, go ahead, please. Go ahead, no wasting of time. Just, just ask me any questions. Hi, Sensei. Hi, good evening, how are you? And congratulations. Uh, that uh, what is that called? Odin uh, Panam. Congratulations! I was getting a lot of feedback uh, uh, after that. I saw only the uh, intro or uh, uh, what do you call uh, the trailer part. I, I couldn't one. see yeah. the yeah. I couldn't see the full one. Once you get uh, the link, just share that with me, and I'm definitely, definitely I share. Right. I share. Okay. What Thank else? You My Thank pleasure. you so much. I'm getting so much calls after that, and. Uh, uh, I, 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 I think I got 40 calls. Wow. Yesterday night in India. And most of, most of the, the calls, sorry. My it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Most of the calls connected with regarding how to fix the artificial limbs. Ah, especially, okay. from, especially from the, those who lost their arms or legs. Okay. Okay. Have you ever, have you ever conducted such a program? No, no, no. So, so yeah. I think that's that's a, a trigger for you. You can just uh, think about it because there could be a lot of people who do not know about it. Because I remember when I was eighth grade student, the film which came, Mayuri, uh, Mayuri was what's her name, Sudha Chandran. Yeah, that's yeah. So, so in that she showed that how she went to Jaipur and she got the, the uh, limbs fixed and all those things. So that was an educational. Uh, in fact, that was an educational movie uh, because I think it was Mr. Mamuti who was there as a, uh, as a, uh, the presenter in that movie. If I remember, I was too young at that time. So similarly, there could be a lot of people who want clarity, and maybe your 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 experience uh, through what you have gone through, and you can also give them the different price list and all those things, which is comfortable to you, and all those things. Maybe that could really help people. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I will do it. I will do it because yeah. definitely the, the society need that. Absolutely, right absolutely, absolutely. And, and that become a business also. Yeah, so yeah. Not, you know, 
Yeah, it's a, it's a business, for example, as you mentioned, because if you take uh, JK's case itself, where her son is uh, yeah. affected by COVID, the thousand rupee medicine is now 10,000. And the one day uh, she's paying is around about one lakh. Am I right? Per exactly. day, and she's paying for one lakh. For 10 days, uh, he paid 12 lakhs. Exactly. For 10 days. Yeah, so, so people would make use of the time and they'll really excuse you out. That doesn't mean that all the doctors are... Um, not good. That's not what I'm saying here. But uh, uh, it could be the hospital, not the doctors, but it could be the hospital itself doing those things. Good. Yes. Yeah, what I else? Have question, I have a question regarding. Can you please share your experience in the last training program that we attended? That Sorry. Rich Dad, Rich Dad game. Ah, oh, that, that was amazing. Uh, I mean, uh, Blair Singer. Blair Singer is a human being. Now, what does that mean? Because most of my teachers are human being. Now, I know that we all are human being, but uh, the, uh, there are two things. One is the IQ and the EQ. So I'm talking about the EQ part of it because people, these are people who connect with their heart. I've seen, now why did I say he is a human being? Because when he was conducting training program, I would see him crying. He's, he's the master of masters, you know, he's, he's the one who works with Richard, um, 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 Robert, Kiyosaki. Kiyosaki, Robert Kiyosaki. And all those because he 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 is in connection with Rich Dad uh, or Robert Kiyosaki even before the book was released. When when Robert Kiyosaki was working at that time with uh, um, uh, Xerox company, okay, and he was selling those wallets at that time. He was selling wallets, just the normal purse. Uh, it was at that time they became friends. Uh, so and then he became the Rich Dad advisor. And he has he has trained. I mean, um, um, thousands and thousands of people and uh, some of the top. Uh, trainers in India have been trained by him and his charges are high for sure. Uh, however, there's a human being behind that. That's that's the beauty of it. If you look at uh, Les Brown, if I uh, if you look at um, um, John Maxwell, if you look at Tony Robbins, I have seen all of them crying. I've seen all of them crying. And when I was attending uh, with uh, Blair Singer, he was really, really crying. And I, I and I could notice that really it was pouring. Uh, uh, it was pouring. Because now, what was the reason of crying? Because he was crying because one of his students uh, became a top uh, top instructor, okay, a, a top recognized instructor. And when he was sharing that how I became an instructor and how Blair was able to change my life, so it's very very important because today, when you are a teacher, when uh, I would like to use the word teacher, when, not rather than a trainer. If you are a teacher and if you are able to bring changes in people's life and then you see the changes that they are making. I'm talking about multiplication of leadership. It's not only about leader. For example, if you are attending my training program, you become the leader, but that doesn't make any sense until otherwise you go and create leaders. So it's all about your leadership. It's all about influencing others. Okay. So when he was hearing that story that how he impacted, not, not Blair himself, but his student, one of his students impacted uh, more than, um, he has got around about 11,000 people in his community and all those things when he was talking about, and he, he, spoke, he said that he has, he has given us charity for around, uh, uh, in this one year time, he has given a charity of more than uh, 10 crore, charity, only charity. So that imagine that how much amount he is making, how much his community is making. So when he was hearing all those things, he was crying. I've seen the same with uh, uh, with Les Brown. When Les Brown and I, uh, when we were together in the U.S., uh, he was on the stage, and I was one of this um, one of the audience member in the very front row. And uh, it, we have to tell stories. And one of the ladies, I think she was from Europe, and she told a story about how her mother treated her, and her mother did not like her, and the mother was with a second husband or something, and how. The mother standing uh, down the stair, she asked the daughter to jump and she showed the hand and the daughter was very young. And when the daughter fell down the, uh, to the hand, mother left her so that she could drop down on the floor because her intention was to kill her daughter. You got me? So when, when, uh, when uh, I mean, my goodness, when he was hearing that, um, Les, Les was hearing, it was crying like baby. And recently when I was having a session with Les Brown uh, and we were uh, around about 20, 21 instructors, because we are one of the part of the, his, uh, his team. Uh, I, he heard a story from one of my friends, okay? And he was crying like anything. This is something that I've seen in Tony Robbins, I've seen in most of the great leaders. So going back, uh, the session was really good. Um, our, um, um, Blair Singer's session was really good. And that I have adapted something which uh, I'll be definitely using that in the Speak and Spark program. 
uh, and as well as in the train the trainer program, which is called the CLAPS. Uh, CLAPS stands for Certified uh, 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 Learning and Performance Specialist. That's a new program which we are going to introduce, CLAPS for train the trainer, those who want to become trainers. So that is a program. So I'll be using that technique uh, in those two training programs, how I can coach someone live when, do, when they are doing a presentation. So that is one of my intention for sure. Yeah. In the train so, the train program, right? In the train the trainer program, as well as in uh, uh, in and the uh, what do you call um, speak and spark. Uh, sorry, uh, 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 professional speaking and presentation program, PSPM, oh. the mastery program. In this too, I'll be definitely. Uh, so I do one thing that whatever I learn, I make sure that I cascade it to other people. So I believe in uh, learning by teaching and teaching by learning. So whatever I learn from him, I made my I have made my presentations. I made my note. It's all ready. So definitely, I'm going to share that. And for sure, this Sunday, I'm going to have a live session. Those who are interested, you can come in. It's on the Train the Trainer program. It's going to be free uh, from 10 to 12 o'clock. It's going to be a two-hour session. Uh, Indian time, we'll be sharing the link very soon tomorrow itself. I, I think, uh, uh, have we got the link? Have we created the link for that? Yes, I think, Anish, you should be having yes, the link. Yes, yes. yes we have, have yeah. you can share that. You can share that in, in the group because there's only, yeah. hundred, uh, there's only 100 seats. And it's going to be free. <clears throat> it's a Train the Trainer program, which is going to be on Sunday from 10 to 12. So yes, I'll be taking you through how you can become a trainer or a facilitator. I don't like to use the word trainer. I, I prefer the word facilitator, however, uh, because everyone calls it as a trainer. So and uh, so I, I thought, okay, let me call it as a train the trainer, but it's called the CLAP, C-L-A-P-S, certified, uh, certified Learning and Performance Specialist. That's a program. So the PPCC people can also join? Yes, 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 yes. They can also, because this, uh, uh, this all are three three standalone programs because now we are focusing on uh, three programs. Earlier we were focusing only on two programs. One is CTC and one was uh, PPCC, which what what we call those who are PPCC members. You are lucky because uh, we stopped that. Now we have got only PSPM, which is called the Professional Speaking and uh, uh, Presentation Mastery. So now that is the two program, and the third program is a Train the Trainer program. So one is for speaking, one is for coaching, one is for training. Three programs. So in all, if you look at the objective, uh, the objective is to make them uh, professional trainers, uh, speakers, and coaches. So that's a three. And the next one program, which we'll be introducing by the end of uh, uh, June, July, would be on leadership. Thank you so much, Sanjay. It's all connected to leadership. Everything, uh, vertical learning is all about leadership. That's what we focus on. Yeah. Thank you. Any other question, please? <clears throat> Go ahead. We are here till nine, nine o'clock. Hi, Sensi. Hello. I'm, I'm, I'm Jed. Okay, then uh, you have mentioned about FBA, Freedom Business Accelerator. Accelerator. Yeah. Uh, will that be in coming months? Uh, Freedom Business Accelerator is only for entrepreneurs. It's not for trainers. It's not for coaches. It's not for speakers. But if you are an entrepreneur, yes, you can join. Yes, okay. If you are an entrepreneur, you can join in that. I have already selected seven coaches. Already selected. They have. Uh, they are, I'll be coaching them. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be coaching them absolutely free. And I'll be making them uh, confident coaches in the business aspect of it. And then if any, any entrepreneur wants to get this training, then we'll take you, we'll help you, we'll take you and make sure that you are how to develop your business. There would be two levels I'll, uh, to just give you an idea. The two level would be the first level would be where I'll be uh, conducting a course for around about uh, not less than six days because it's in depth. So I'll be, I'll be going, it's live session, no video, nothing. It's live session like what's happening right now. So that will go for around about six days and it will be around about one and a half hours a day. So it'll go for six days. And then if you're interested, you can come for the actual uh, course where I'll be uplifting you, where I'll be holding your business, uh, not your business. So one thing that I need to tell you very clearly, we don't work on your business. Once again, once again I repeat, we don't work on your business. We work on you. Okay, you is the leader. So we work on you so that you can, you can uh, grow and excel your business. Okay, you can grow and excel your business in your absence without yes. you okay that's that's the whole purpose the see we need to understand that people say see uh, uh, i know that you are an entrepreneur am i right yes okay what do you mean yes. by entrepreneur uh, entrepreneur means uh, um conducting business okay how many of you believe that entrepreneurs are someone who can, who is kind of uh, who's conducting business just raise your hands or go to the chat and say i go to the chat and say i let me just look at the chat as well Okay, so go to the chat and say, ah, if you believe that an entrepreneur is someone who does business, 
Go ahead. An entrepreneur is someone who does business. Go to the chat and say, I. if you believe, then you say, I. Go to the chat, please. Okay, I can see only one eye. Okay, coming in, coming in. Go ahead. I want to see how many of you believe that an entrepreneur is someone who does business. Okay, great. I got uh, two eyes in there. What about other people? Those who don't believe, say no. Those who don't believe, say, I know that at least you're active. <laughs> okay. So those who said no, tell me what you mean by it. Just uh, unmute yourself and give me the answer. I'll take uh, two answers. Anyone who's coming first, just go ahead and so, answer. Yes, please go ahead and answer your question. Yes. So, what do you, yeah, go ahead. Uh, I'm Arish. Yeah, go ahead. An entrepreneur means who takes care of his people and uh, takes a business with his forward and connects his people mm. and make them grow as well mm. and make him grow. That's Absolutely. Good. Excellent. That, that is an absolute very good definition. Is there anyone else who could give a definition? Just on your Yes, please. Rashid. Go, go ahead, Rashid. Yeah. What and is your thoughts? An entrepreneur is a person who uh, offers a value in the marketplace. That's very right. good. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much to both of you. And thank you very much to all of you. Now, entrepreneur or entrepreneurship is nothing to do with what the person is. Entrepreneurship is all about mindset. Very simple. Yes, very, right. very simple. Entrepreneurship, uh, entrepreneurship is all about mindset. Now, if you had seen my quote, I think it was yesterday, I believe. Uh, I, I don't remember. Uh, an employee with them uh, with yes, an, yes, yes, right? yeah, mm -hmm. a, an employee with an um, entrepreneur mindset or something like that. I don't remember all my quotes because there are more than 600, 700 quotes. So if anyone could read that, if you have the quote in front of you, just anyone just could open that and read that quote for me, please. Mitch. You can't be a successful entrepreneur with an employee mindset, mm. but you can be a great employee with an entrepreneurial mindset. Thank you very this much. This was today's quote. Was it today? Today, today? Yes. okay. Today, okay. Today, okay, right, right. Thank you, Zena. Thank you very much. Yes, absolutely. That means uh, uh, you, you, number one is uh, you might be an employee. And if you are working as an employee and your mindset is an employee, then there's a limitation for you to grow. How many of you agree to that? If you're an employee and your mindset is like an employee, there's a limitation for you to grow. Number two, if an entrepreneur and if you have the mindset of an employee, still it's very hard for you to grow. How many of you agree? Type two, please. The first one, you're an employee working under an organization and your thoughts are like an employee, it's very hard for you to grow, number one. Number two, you are an entrepreneur, you claim to be an entrepreneur, you claim that you are the founder of a business and however you, uh, you have got the employee mindset, then again, it would be hard for you to grow. In order to grow, you should have the, uh, the entrepreneur mindset. It could be either outside your organization or within the organization. Now, what does that mean? If, for example, if I'm working for a company and I have uh, and I have my own department, let's say it's a profit center or what there are different centers. We call it the profit center and the law and the, uh, the cost centers. So let's say I have got a profit center or it could be a cost center like an L&D. And I come up with an idea along with my team to develop something new whereby I don't have the money to invest and the company is ready to invest or pump money uh, to bring this project to a higher level or to the next level. So therefore, who am I? Tell me. Type. I am working in an organization. I don't have the money to invest. I don't have the capital to invest, but I do have the idea. Therefore, with the permission of my senior management, I bought my internal team. I just worked on a project and made it successful. Who am I? Entrepreneur. 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 How many of you agree? Say I. Just go to, uh, go to the chat and say I. Go ahead. How many of you agree? Yes, I can see some eyes coming in. Me, I, 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 I. No. That is intrapreneur. It starts with the letter I, intrapreneur. An intrapreneur is exactly like an entrepreneur working for an organization like an entrepreneur. How many of you got it? Okay, he's exactly, he has got everything. He's got the mindset of an entrepreneur, but unfortunately he's working within an organization. For example, how, what is this called? What is this called in uh, Facebook? Thumb. There's a particular name for that. Everyone knows it's a thumb, but there is a particular name on Facebook. Like. Like. What is it? 
like play, right? Exactly, like this. The like button is a a baby of entrepreneurship. And Facebook, Gmail, Gmail is the result of entrepreneurship. Sony Walkman is the is uh, the baby of uh, entrepreneurship. It was all developed within an organization within the department when they were given the, the chance to grow and develop. Okay, so therefore, uh, going back uh, to Amjad um, answering your question, you should ask yourself, are you an entrepreneur? Are you an employee? Are you an intrapreneur? So this program is for anyone who wants to become an entrepreneur, who have got the dream to become an entrepreneur, and they want to grow and excel. As, as uh, uh, I got the response earlier, it's all about developing yourself and yes. developing your team, your, uh, le uh, the second level leadership. So automatically what happens, you get the freedom so you can think about anything else. You should be able to run your business without you. Bis a, a true businessman would, um, would run the business, would be working on the business, not in the business. On the business meaning uh, he won't be there in the business because his team is there to work. If you are a business person, if you're an entrepreneur and you say that I go to office every single day from, uh, from 10 to four, then you're not. You're not yes. a businessman because you are going there. That is not business. The business is the business has to run on different things. Number one, it has to run on a system. Number two, it has to run on the team and there should be automation. Once again, repeat that must be a system. A system could be anything. Now, what do you mean by system? System is creating process or what you call as SOP. There should be a standard operating procedure that you have to come up with. How many of you agree? If there is no system, the, the, uh, the, if there is no system, then you're going to fall. Always un keep in mind, the system never fails, people fail. How many of you agree to that? System never fails, people fail. How many of you agree? Raise your hands, please. If you're in the cam on the camera, just raise your hands or just say I on the chat box. So how do you, how do you create the system? The system is very good. For example, if I, there are 10 people in, in a department, if I use it as a department, and, uh, and let's say they all are in the sales department, and uh, uh, nine of them were not able to create the sales based on the target which was set. But there was one person who was able to generate leads and he was able to convert the leads into those potential, uh, what you call cold customer into warm customer, hot customer, and then convert them into a paid customer. So then I am having a sitting with this person, this particular individual and asking him, could you tell me, Mr. A, what are the strategy that you use? Since see, I use this, 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 and this, whereas the nine people, they use that, 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 and that. How many of you got it? So I used A, B, C, D, whereas all the others were using X, Y, and Z. So I collect that detail from uh, Mr. A, and I put that into, uh, into a system. I make that um, other people to do the same thing. That is called system. A system is if something is working, take it, document it. Take it and document it automatically. What happens? That becomes a system so that anyone who is coming and joining the sales department, maybe after one year, and if that system still works, then you have to take that. Uh, you have to make sure that that person learns that. Now, for let's take another example. A system is working, but the environment changed. When the environment changed, sometimes the system may not work because the whole entire environment has changed. So therefore, now you don't react to it. And don't cry and say that my system is not working and don't cry and ponder and don't dwell on the pain. But now what you have to do, what is the word? What is the word? You need to change the system. What is the word? There's a word. Strategy, you have to change strategy. No, there's another word, one single word, starting with the letter R. Response. Exactly response. correct. Now you have to respond to the situation. You don't react to the situation. Now you have to respond to the situation. Just imagine all those offline uh, offline um, uh, shops, offline uh, programs, uh, everything that were being conducted till 2020 March has completely changed because they didn't react to it, they responded to it. Those who reacted are still crying, saying that, co that COVID is uh, a, a, a curse. Yes, it is in one way, but the question is that everyone is going through COVID, that the question that you need to ask is how did you respond to COVID, that means the E plus R is equal to O. How do you respond to the event and what did you do? What are the changes that you bring? What are the things that you adapted in your business, in your life, in your habit, in your social surroundings? And what are the things that you adapted? If you did not adapt and you're still the old, you're using the still the same old methodology automatically, what's going to happen? Your graph is, graph is going to go down. Irrespective of you are a successful business person, a successful doctor, a successful teacher, trainer, facilitator, whatever it is, even if you are number one uh, paid uh, trainer in the world, still your graph will go down because you are applying the same thing. So therefore you have to change.
and the change happens due by uh, by responding to the situation. So once you respond automatically, you will get a different result. So let me take an example. If you have a system and this system, like, like the example I mentioned earlier, and that system has been working for last one or two years and automatically what happened, COVID hit. Now, what do you do? The system is not working. So what do you do? You bring, uh, you apply uh, new strategies and see which is working. Then you come up with something new that becomes a system. How many, of, uh, how many of you got it? So you can change from one system to another system based on what is the environment, the change in the environment, the change in, uh, in the event, you can change your system as well. How many of you got it? And the, for the system to become strong, you have to change. You have to uh, you have to create something like like a flow chart, which is called the SOP or standard operating procedure. Your company is not working on you. Please keep in mind, your company or business should not be working on you. Your if you if you're a if you're a doctor, if you're running your own hospital, if you're a trainer, teacher, facilitator, coach, and if you've got coaches under you, the the your company, your organization should not be working on you. Your company must be working on a system or an SOP. I want everyone to go and type system. You all have to have a system, not on you. If, if the company is working on you, then they'll be calling you day and night and they won't give you the freedom to, an entrepreneurship is all about a freedom. That means you have to be free. That is called entrepreneurship. Otherwise it's called self-employment. You are the one going, you're the one doing and everything. Now, let me ask you, Amjad, let me ask you one question. This is a personal question. Is that okay that if I ask you that question? Yes. Okay. Now you have a target for every month. Is that correct? Don't yes. tell me what business you are. You are. You have a target. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now um, I know that this business is by run by somebody. Else. Sorry, you are not the founder. The business belongs to somebody else. You are there as an employee. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now let me talk about your boss itself. Okay. If you, if I'm talking about your boss, now ask yes. yourself. The boss is making profit. Okay. Whatever mm -hmm. it is, he is making profit. The question is, is he taking money every month? No. No. That's so this is not a business. How many of you got it? It is not the profit that you make. It is the amount of money that you withdraw as a salary. That is called business. How many of you got it? Raise your hands, please. This is not, now what you're doing is charity. It's all about developing the customer and helping them. And, and you're not taking anything. Most of the business today run in that way. They might be having millions of dollars or rupees in the market. They don't get, take any amount as even a single penny as uh, what you call salary. That's not business. Business is where you have to say that this is my salary and your salary should be the market level salary, whatever it is. Maybe it's one lakh or one and a half lakh or maybe 50,000 or 25,000, whatever it is. You have to ask yourself, what is the salary for a person like me in some other company? That is the, that is the amount that I have to write off every single month. And if you're not writing off, you're not in a business. You are a self-employed. You're doing something for charity. How many of you agree? Say aye. So this is all about mindset. If you don't have this sort of mindset, if you don't have a system, uh, a financial system, training system, uh, uh, L&D, uh, sorry, R&D system, everything must have a system. Only then you'll be able to, uh, uh, to take your uh, business forward. It, these are like wheels of a bus. That is how I explain. There are uh, seven wheels. I'm not going to talk about the seven wheels. So there are six wheels and the seventh wheel is the steering of the bus. You need to have seven wheels. Okay. These are the seven wheels in a business that will take your business forward. Questions? Go ahead. Any other question? Sir, excuse me. Yeah. Can I? Yeah. I'm Arush. Yeah. Go ahead, please. So, so what is the difference between extrovert and an introvert? Okay. Are you an extrovert or an introvert? I'm an extrovert. Okay. I like con yeah. communicating with people more. Okay. Uh, what am? I, <clears throat> excuse me. What about me? You, you're an extrovert, I think so. You think that I'm an extrovert, but I want, I'm one of the best introvert. Yeah. I, I'm an introvert. What about Obama? Mm, I don't know. What he do you talks think? to people. He talks to people. What, what do you think? He, he must be an introvert or an extrovert. I no. don't know. Tell me one, pick up one. You don't have, uh, you've got only one, so pick up one. Extrovert. Extrovert. He's an introvert. What about Air Rahman? He's an introvert because he's a gut. Okay. So what about what, a, what about Sachin Tendulkar? Mm -hmm. Extrovert. He's an introvert. What about what about Abraham Lincoln? 
introvert because he's a silent person. He doesn't communicate. He's not that much communication. He's an introvert. Abraham Bill, Lincoln. Bill Gates. Bill Gates also. He's an introvert. What about Warren Buffett? Mm, he speaks. I think he's an extrovert. Okay, he's an introvert. What about APK Abdul Kalam? Mm, an extrovert. He's an introvert. <laughs> what about VP Singh? Don't know that person. Okay. I don't know him. It's the past president, uh, prime minister. Okay, now what does that mean? You can either be an introvert, you can be an extrovert. There is nothing, no differentiation in that. Don't differentiate yourself oh. as if you are an extrovert or introvert. Both have got its merits and demerits. Okay, now extroverts are, are always there in front of people. What, what I call them is a, pe a peacock. Uh, have you, uh, how many of you have done the personality test, the dope test? Just say, ah, if you have done the dope test and got certified by me, it's a free program which we had done. So just go and say, I, those who are done. In the dope test, if you go, there is something called the peacock, uh, peacock personality. Peacock personality is more or less like an extrovert. But if you're a dope personality, a dope personality is more of, a, of an in, introvert personality. Now, going back, you can be an extrovert and you can be successful in life and you can be an introvert and you can be successful in life. The, the thing with introverts are introverts, they don't do 10 things, they do one thing and they become master in that one thing. They, yeah. don't, they don't do 10 things. And uh, introverts, uh, for me, for example, uh, the COVID, though, though, though COVID happened, for me, I, I didn't find anything because I have always been a person sitting in my room all by myself. That's the type of person I am. I'm not a person yeah. with, uh, I'm not a person with, uh, who wants to interact. I interact with people. I interact only with people. And there is something that we came up with, uh, myself, Anish, and Shamira, uh, with this called the uh, uh, HQ, Q op that is um, uh, uh, high quality people only. Yeah. Okay, so that means we, we connect with only high quality people, only, only with high quality people. Yeah. So that, therefore, my interaction is also that standard because I don't go and interact with everyone because I'm an introvert. Okay. If, if, you, if you invite me for your wedding, maybe you'll, I hope you'll invite me for your wedding. And when I come for your wedding, I won't be talking with anyone because I'm an introvert. Because yeah. I don't open up. Okay, an in introvert okay. never opens up. He just sits there idle. But once it is in his fat platform or her platform, he would be the champion there. So this okay. is my platform. In front of the camera, I'm a champion. In, uh, in front of the audience, I'm a champion. It doesn't matter whether there are 10,000 or 10 lakh people. I can speak like anything. Why? Oh, because okay. that is my platform. So whether you're an introvert or an extrovert, both has got its own advantages and disadvantages. So do not, do not, uh, uh, do not, uh, say that I'm an extrovert, therefore, is it, uh, is it bad? No, it's good. You're an introvert, is it bad? No, again, it's good. So just focus on what you're doing and the results would be definitely, for sure, you'll get it. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Hey, can I say something? Yes, sure. It's to Arush, it's directed to Arush. Okay. I want, what I wanted to say that, the, that there is a difference between liking to communicate and liking to being alone. If you look at my case, then I'm a speaker. I love to speak. I'm a professional speaker and coach. But in my house, I'm just an introvert. I love being alone, but I love to speak too. Being an introvert doesn't mean that you don't have, you don't like to speak. Uh, there are so much stereotypes about being introverts and extroverts. Yeah. I think so many of them are wrong. You can be an introverted speaker. You can be an extroverted speaker. You can be anything. It doesn't matter if you're an introvert or an extrovert. That shouldn't be your limit. Absolutely. That is, I'm proud of you, Zena. You are one of our youngest coaches. Thank you. There are so many people who think I'm an extrovert, but I just love to be, be alone. I love to speak to myself. And also, I love to spend time with myself thinking about myself. <laughs> Absolutely. I actually am a really big introvert. I'm my best friend. I am my yes. best friend. That's, that's exactly. <laughs> I, I, I talk a lot. I talk a lot to myself. Okay. All my <laughs> ideas come when I, when I talk to myself. I don't, talk to, I, I don't talk with somebody else because uh, if I'm talking with someone else, they would be giving me an idea which is not in par or in the same frequency of my thoughts. My thoughts are always of a high class. I always see myself as a high standard 
So if I'm communicating with somebody else, their, uh, their level of understanding and their quality of understanding and their response or the reaction to my question would be in a frequency which is very lower than my frequency. Therefore, I don't go for the talk itself. And I talk to myself and I see that whether there is anyone that I can exchange this, my team members who know me and who can understand my uh, wavelength, I'll talk with them and they give me the opinion, I take the opinion immediately. I think we are so similar. I, I get all my ideas when I'm alone. Absolutely, absolutely. Great, great. Next question, please. Hi, Sensi. Hello. Yes. Uh, Hi, how are you? Jafar Ali. Good, go ahead, please, Jafar Ali. Uh, I want to ask uh, one question. Uh, if I am a beginner in PPCC, okay, mm -hmm. uh, how uh, will people uh, pay for me? When when uh, when people will pay for me when I reach that? Uh... Good, good. When when uh, we started this session, I just got a message on my mobile device saying that would you be able to conduct a training uh, session or a speech next month in June for a uh, for an organization? Now, uh, let me tell you, hundred percent, I'm not going to do this. For sure, I didn't respond to the person, but 100% sure I'm not going to do this session for this organization, whether they pay or they don't pay. Why? Because it's not matching with my five principles. And I always keep, I, I always keep talking about my five freedom. How many of you know that? All the five freedom. My five Fs. Who knows that? Freedom of time. Freedom of time. Freedom of money. Freedom of money. Location. Location, choice, choice. Um, Number five, purpose, purpose. Exactly correct. So when I got this message, thank you very much, Anish. So when I got this message, it was it was contradicting with one one of those five. So for me, the answer is no. I don't have to think. I just need fraction of a second. So this is something I uh, I would educate all of you that you should be having a principle. And this is something I was talking. I think in the uh, CTC program that uh, you need to have a code of honor. And you need to have the code of honor and you need to have the pillar. The pillar is uh, the, uh, the principles or the code of um, uh, the, um, um, the, uh, core, uh, the core values. You need to have that. So for me, it's this five points. So anything which is contradicting with any of this five pillar, I would, the answer is absolutely no. So going back to Jafar, your question, how would you get? The first thing that you have to do is you have to establish yourself as a speaker. Jafar, are you there? Yes, yes. Okay, so you have to establish yourself as a speaker, meaning how do you establish as a speaker? Every speaker today that you see, the top, top speakers in the world, they have always done speaking engagements free of charge first. Okay, people will never pay you. Now, if you want to, uh, if you want to make this your, as your profession, then nobody's going to pay you until otherwise they taste you. Okay, they have to taste what is that you have because uh, today the market is flooded with uh, speakers and trainers. How many of you agree that? Raise your hands. How many of you agree that it's full of trainers now, especially after COVID? It's full of trainers and uh, trainers and speakers, etc. Do not be one of the person in the red ocean because it's red ocean. So if, if there are 20 people who are teaching something and Jafar Ali is also coming with exactly like that 20 people, then for no doubt you are in the red ocean. How many of you agree? Whether whatever business you are in, I just took an example because Jafar Ali asked me this about uh, speaking. So Jafar Ali, if you want people to call you, people are, are want to pay you and pay you high, then you should be doing something differently. Do you agree to that, Jafar Ali? Yes, yes. And give me three things. Why did you join my course? You did one course, then you did the second course. Now you did the third course. Tell me what was the reason that you joined me? You didn't have money, but still you made the money and you joined my course. Give me three reasons. Why did you join my course? It was, and what is the difference in my course or my training or my speech, or my speaking with other instructors? Tell me three things. First one, you uh, always like with me. And I mean, always you follow the uh, people. Every every week on a daily basis. Number two. Number two, you are connected with the international language and international like people. Okay. Number three. Number three, you a uh, lot of things. Number three, one, uh, you uh, you open with all things. Yeah, I mean, uh, 
you you uh, openly talking all all your marketing strategy also okay your your marketing strategy how we can market ourselves you uh, like uh, other not like other people you f- fully open up okay great thank you very much so now what you have to do is if there are 10 people in your market and these are 10 trainers because you asked me about speaking sorry if there is these are five speakers you have to respect all of them okay no doubt about it okay you have to respect them and then you you can also attend the training program and then you can ask see what is that different from each and every one of them do not compare yourself okay the comparison is not what i'm talking about here you ask yourself what is the different they are doing and make a note of it and ask yourself what is that i can do differently not different things this is where i love this quote of uh, um uh, what's his name um shivakera don't winners don't do different things they do things differently and that's exactly what i'm saying don't do different things okay if there is a value for a particular topic or a subject in the marketplace do the same thing but do it differently now i'll give my example there are hundreds and hundreds of people who who teach uh, in india it's uh, those who teach how to become a speaker am i right there are hundreds and hundreds of people who train uh, how to become a coach there could be hundreds and hundreds of people who are, t- are training how to become a a, t- a trainer or how to run your business however what you should be doing is you should be doing the same thing but in a different manner you got me yes okay now i'll give one example you always start with the low price you always start with little price or zero price now when i started this program i remember um it was around about 3 uh, 3 or 4 years back i came up with the same program for 25000 rupees for three day program 25000 rupees and i also spent around about 1 lakh or so for my marketing okay because i had just come to india and nobody knew me in india so uh, after doing this marketing uh, it was in a taj hotel in uh, um, in calicut and uh, uh, after this marketing i got only one person okay after marketing i got only one person jafar ali are you with me yes yes but the 99% of the people they came from foreign countries without yeah. any advertisement without any advertisement they came to know that forex sense is conducting a training program in calicut and it is only 25000 rupees let's go these are people who flew from international uh, i mean these are instructors who are conducting training in more than 50 countries mm-hmm. these are the instructors who flew down to calicut and they attend one training program but, but all over india all over kerala all over calicut all over kannur or malappuram district i just got one person you are with me Yes. Now, let me tell you the second stage. After that, I came up with the online program, online program which you are a part right now. And that yes. online program, I had only one student for one year. I had only one student for one year, and the name of the student is Munir, who is now a best-selling author. You know him. Yes. Munir Amir. Uh, Munir Amir. He was the only one. I'm very proud of him. That's why I don't show that to uh, show that in front of him, but I'm proud of him. because for me everyone are equal but i'm very proud of him because he was the only one who trusted me and who came with me for one year he was the only one i create video i ask his i ask his uh, opinion munir give me your feedback and munir would say and say i think this video has to be changed this video has to be changed by then i would have taken 35 videos i delete all the 35 videos i do videos again i do videos again delete it based on the feedback that i get from my student how many of you got it you have to know the market pain if you think that your videos are good and you think that people are going to learn with your video and if they are not able to connect with the video then your video is not good so always make sure that you get the feedback and i was getting feedback from one person and i can tell you one thing i can tell you jafar ali one thing munir i don't know whether munir is here right now munir for sure he would have never ever thought that what is going to happen to me but i knew what is going to happen to me Munir may not have thought that what's going to happen to me and this program but I was very damn sure because whatever I do I make sure that that becomes number 1 when I started the course that you are right now a part of it we started with just 1999 then it was increased yes. to 2999 then it became 3999 from there it jumped to 6999 from 6000 it's jumped to 15 14999 and now it's going to be with those who are not registered is going to be 19999 because i know that i'm adding value 
The same program. Those who paid for, I know Sadakatullah, he paid only 1,999. Today he's a teacher in Maldives. Uh, uh, sorry, yes, in Maldives. He sent me a message today. He had paid the same course that you are paying 15,000. He did the same course for just 1,999, meaning you don't jump all of a sudden. You don't take a leap. You think big, you take smaller action. You take small action, small steps, but it has to be massive. So going back to your question, how can you establish yourself as a speaker, trainer, facilitator, coach, etc.? You have to dream big, for sure. But don't take a big step so that you fall down. You take step by step, baby steps, but those steps must be really, really strong. If you're getting, if you're getting, uh, if you want to lead, make sure that the leads are good leads. When I say good leads, don't go and get leads. The, those are only free people. If, you're, if those are people who are asking only for free courses, then do not go for them because they're not going to pay you. They'll come, they'll get the free food from you and they'll go back. Again, you'll have to go ground zero and look for somebody else. Again, that would be free. So you are going through the circle again and again. So before you take your clients or customers, make sure that the organization that you are dealing with, these are quality people. If it is quality people, they'll come to you, they'll pay for you. Otherwise, uh, they'll uh, eat up your head. You're with me, Jafar Ali? So the market, yes, yes. marketing, marketing is 90 percentage is marketing, 10 percentage is sale. Once again, I repeat to everyone, 90 percentage is marketing, 10 percentage is sale. Now, what does that mean? What do you mean by marketing? Help me out. What do you mean by marketing? Help me. What do you mean by marketing? Marketing, uh, uh, project my, uh, my own course, uh, uh, share my course, Good. Is there anyone who can answer me? What do you mean by marketing? I, I said marketing is 90%, 10% of your sale. Then I'll talk about sale. 90% is marketing. Anyone can open up and share your thoughts. What do you mean by marketing? Marketing is, marketing is everything in order to achieve our main goal, main sales. That means... Give me an example. Main, Give me an example. That means our more publicity, then more publicity main, then yeah. advertising. Mm -hmm. Then all related to the last thing, all else are marketing. Very good. Excellent. Let, let me move on to the next one. Yes. Yes, Mr. Rajan, go ahead. Make people aware of, the, uh, of you or may bring people to know about it. Very good. Next, I'll take one more. It is to identify the customer need and then give them a product or service according to the need of the customer. Very good. Excellent. So I'll take two, two uh, of the opinions that I got. One is from Rajan, Mr. Rajan, and, and uh, one from uh, Brishni, you both. What am I doing now? Marketing. 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 Am I selling something today right now? At the end. No. 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 Marketing, yeah. is, marketing is only adding value. Yes. When, when, uh, when uh, Amjad said advertisement, that became sales. That's no more marketing. In the marketing, you don't talk about your product. Did I talk anything about my product? I was just talking about you. I'm just adding value to the question that you're asking me. Is that right? Yes. So if you want to be successful in the marketplace, 90% you should be marketing by adding value to the people absolutely free. Absolutely free. There should, there should not be any intention of sales. Yeah. You build the rapport by giving them what they want based on the pain in the marketplace. And at the end, when you build the trust and the rapport, that's when you sell. Yes, that's right. So selling is only 10%. Otherwise, if you, if you sell something in the very beginning, it's, nobody's going to buy that. Have you ever seen when somebody knocks at your door or somebody rings your bell and say that, uh, sir, we have got this product, this product, and this product it has been approved by those and those. As soon as they start, we say that we have got in our house. How many of you agree to that? How many of you agree to that? As soon as somebody comes and tells that we have got a product to sell, you'll definitely step back because you don't want somebody to sell things to you. Am I right? At the same time, if somebody's adding value and not talking anything about the price or anything about their product, automatically what happens, you built a, you built a rapport. Now, yesterday I, I, uh, I purchased a product from someone and when I downloaded the product, I think 90% of the stuff was crap. Okay, it was a really crap. 
It was nothing to do with the standard that I was looking for. Maybe there was a 10 percentage thing that which I kept with me. And that is one thing that I shared in the group today, which is uh, your social media uh, planner. It was one among those. I think it was a huge number. However, uh, this person called me and he said that uh, sensei if you just go here you can click down and you'll be able to download and those things he sent me a voice message that was something that i was really impressed with i was not impressed with his product and i was not impressed with uh, uh, with uh, the quantity and the quality of the product however the way that he spoke to me was amazing and he sent me a link for his webinar i watched the webinar the webinar uh, today morning, I watched the webinar, it was around about 30 minutes. And he said, Sensi, this is a recorded webinar. This is not a live webinar. So please go and watch that. And I asked him, are you using Webinar Jam, which is a platform? He said, no, I'm using something else. He gave me the name, which was very new to me. So he was very open. He was very transparent. I watched it and that webinar was really good. It was really, really good. That means he was very, very transparent. And after the webinar, I called him. I sent him a voice message saying that he does not know who I am. Okay, let me tell you, he does not know who I am. I called him. I sent a voice message saying that I liked your webinar very much. And, and uh, more than the webinar, I liked you very much. I liked you. And that made his day. I believe he called me. He sent me a message back saying people like you appreciating me is a great thing. And he sent me, that's, that's, no, that's the best part. Uh, he, he produces websites and uh, online training platforms, which is called the LMS, Learning Management System. And he sent me uh, this one, the link. This is the learning management system that uh, I sell uh, to the marketplace and all those things. That happened. I wished him everything. Five minutes later, Gurmeet from, uh, from Kashmir. Is Gurmeet here right now? Gurmeet sends me a message on WhatsApp. Sensi, I have created a, uh, a website. I want you to go and give me feedback. As soon as I checked the website, it was exactly same or, or the format was exactly same like the other person had uh, um, sent me. I went back to the first person. I said, one of my students have sent me a link. Is this your product? He said, yes. I came back to uh, Gurmit and asked, is this product from this particular person? He said, yes. You're with me? So what happened here is not the product. It's not the quality of the product, but it's the quality of the person. If you want to sell something, you must be sellable. How many of you agree? If you can't sell yourself, people buy you, not your product. If you want, to, if you want me to buy your product, I must be able to buy you first. If you fail, your product fails. It doesn't matter even if, if your product is one of the best in the world, you, it's, you can't sell your product because you are not sellable. How many of you got it? Okay, did I answer your question, Jafar? Yes, yes. Good. The almost thing I want to raise my standard. You have to. You have to raise your standard. If you do not raise your standard, do not, do not ask yourself what is the standard of people around you. You have to ask yourself what is my standard? What is my standard? What is the value that I'm adding in people's life? And if you're adding a value to people's life, you hike it. Now, let me just go to Anish for... A, uh, for one minute. Anish, I know that you raised your coaching fee. Am I right? You, you, yes, uh, yes, yes, I raised. You, you, from 100%, you made it 150% last week or something. Yes. What was the reason? What was the reason? Because I realized that the value of value of I'm, I'm giving to the society. Absolutely. I, also, I raised my co, uh, group sessions trade, uh, fees also. Absolutely. Right now, I fixed I fix the level and I am, I'm not doing any program free right now. Good. That's exactly what you have to do because when, when Anish said, thank you very much, Anish, uh, when Anish said that I won't do anything for free, that means that is one of his value. How many of you agree? Raise your hand. That's one of his values. I won't do things for free. That is his core value. That is one of his principles. That is one of his pillar. Once you have identified that I will not do anything for free, and that's exactly the message that I got. And I said that I will not do this for free even before I responded to the person I'm talking to you. I'm telling that I won't do this because I know that that company is not going to pay me and I won't do it because that's against my principle. That's against my, my pillar. It's against my freedom. So if you do not know who you are and if you do not know what is your purpose, if you do not have your core value, you will start thinking, should I go? Should I not go? Should I go? What happens if they give me instead of 50,000, if they give me 25,000, should I go? Should I not go? No, don't do those things because you're wasting your time thinking for something which is unproductive. 
to be productive, you have to be very clear. No, because this is contradicting with my, my principles. The answer is absolutely no. So therefore, if you, those who are here, this is something that I would definitely ask you to have your core values, your, whether you call it a core value, whether you call it your principle, whether you call it your pillars or whether you call it the code of honor, whatever it is, you must be having at least five or six and stick onto that. How to set these pillars? How to set this pillar is, uh, what's, what's your name and where are you from? Vivek, am I right? Vivek, Vivek where, yes. Where, where are you yes. from, Vivek? Hyderabad. Hyderabad. Vivek, it all depends upon individuals, different individuals. Because uh, my, my core value could be different from Vivek, your core value. So you have to ask yourself, what, what is my core value? What is the thing that I would say no? What is the thing that I would say yes? You're with me? Okay. So ask yes, yourself, yes. what is the thing that I would say no to? Write it down. What are the things that I would really love to see uh, in people? And most of the thing that you would look for people is the one that you already have. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, the thing that you already have is the thing that you will see other people uh, always keep in mind people like, uh, um, uh, like, um, I think it's uh, like, likes, like, that's what they say, like, like, likes, because yeah. you like people, the same type of people, you're with me. So you yeah. uh, otherwise, if it's not that the, if the, the person that you're, uh, you're having the conversation or communicating with, and he is not matching with your same uh, same uh, frequency, you will okay. say no to it. You, you, won't, you won't be able to match it. You won't be able to match it. There are three different types of matching. Matching with the head to head, head to, head to, uh, head to heart, and head to body. And so okay. I repeat, head to head, head to mind, yeah. head to head, head to heart, head to body. Now, what does that mean? When you see someone, and let's say he's a rich person, okay, Vivek? He's a rich person. I'm just giving an example, okay? And yes, if you yes. see he's a rich person, and you, you think in your mind, if I get this person, I can make a lot of money. Now, what is working here? Is it the head or is it the heart? Head. Head is working. You got me? How many of you got? Just raise your hand. Now your head is working. Okay, you see somebody. He has, he, has not, he has not got money, but you want to help that person. What is working now? What is working now? I think Vivek has gone. Or uh, is the, the, yes, heart is, the heart is working. The heart is working. Yes. Now, you, now you see somebody who is beautiful and you say that, oh, if I get a chance, what is working now? I this. Uh, Sorry? Head, head. It's a head and body. Yes. Your head is connecting not with her head. Her now, head. Since, since you're a male, I'm just talking the other side is a female. So now it is not your head. Your head is connecting with the body. Your intention is different. So the okay. three types of intention, the, head, the intention which is created from your head, the intention which is created from your heart, the intention which is created by your body. How many of you got it? Say type one, two, and three in the chat. Three intentions, your business, your life, everything depends on the three intentions that you come. And the fourth intention is called the spiritual intention. How many of you got it? Okay, the spiritual intention, yeah. whether you call it religion, whether you call it anything, whether you want to help people, whether it is charity, whether it is contribution, that's the spiritual, spiritual intention. Okay, so what you have to do, Vivek, you need to ask yourself, what are the core values? What is that I like? Okay, okay. With, with a clear purpose, just write it down and follow that. Once you write it down, follow that. It's not okay. your goal. It's not your goal. It's your purpose in life. Okay, thank you. My pleasure. Any other question? What's the time? We'll go till nine o'clock. Okay. Uh, today, do we have the time manager there okay zena nine o'clock okay zena just remind me at nine o'clock sure right question, any other question hi sensei rashid yes. here yes please rashid go okay. ahead thank you so much for sharing the book emotional intelligence today ah uh, yes because i i believe one of you asked me for that so i thought okay let me share that with everyone yes go ahead yeah, it's a very simple book it's yeah. a very simple book you can also make courses out of it for sure thank you so much i just wanted to something connected with i i don't know whether it, it is connected with that is there something called muscle memory when it comes to practice or you know physical fitness whatever it is I'm not sure about that because uh, uh, because uh, if I don't know anything, then I'm, I would be a I would be a stupid giving the uh, answer. But from the name, okay, from the name, yeah. okay, that, only that I may not be wrong. Uh, sorry, I may not be right. Uh, muscle me uh, mes uh, muscle mem memory could be just like if you go to the gym, uh, you play for your biceps or triceps, and the more you do the repetition, the more the muscle builds. Is that right? 
Do you agree? If I go to the gym, if I go to the gym and if I'm playing for my biceps or, or my triceps or my deltoid or my forearm, if I keep on playing for that automatically, that keeps on building. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. Similarly, if the, they say that uh, this is something that I have heard from different um, great speakers and trainers, they say that your, your brain or your mind has got its own muscles, muscle in the sense, just like this muscle. If you keep on practicing something for again and again, then automatically you're building the muscle of muscle of that brain, or it could be the memory. And this is something that I learned from my teacher, which I al always ex uh, mentioned that the teacher is no more. His name is Achudan Poduwal. He was my 10th grade teacher. He taught me one thing, and that's a principle which later on made me a champion in martial arts, all India champion in martial arts. Though he was my 10th grade student, uh, sorry, teacher, in English and uh, English and he was uh, teaching uh, one more subject I know and he was my class teacher he told us one thing practice 20 times read 20 times write 20 times you will never forget so that's exactly what you mentioned right now it is the uh, um, a muscle memory well, what he's asking to do is to repeat everything now something that I learned from Tony Robbins is reputation is the mother of all skills that's the same thing I took the same thing and when I, when, I got, when I got into martial art, my teacher, whose name is Bonnie Roberts, who is no more today in the world, he was teaching me a technique and I connected the technique that he taught in martial arts and the words that were given by my teacher, Achudan Podwal. So two things, one from my martial art teacher, Bonnie Roberts, and the other one from my English teacher who, who told me do 20 times every day, sorry, every time. What I did, I mixed these two things. I, I took 12 techniques from my teacher, my martial art teacher, and I started practicing that for 20 times every single day. From the 8th of February, 1987, till 1st of November, 1987. And on the 1st of November, 1987, I became the national great grand champion. That was the first time I became the all India grand champion by defeating my seniors. I didn't do anything. I practiced only 12 techniques, 20 times each. So I believe that could be the one, but I'm not an expert uh, in, the, in this world. So you have to double check. Okay, so thank you very much for asking the, that question anyway. Is there anyone who knows that, who can help Rashid right now? Sensei, so memory is a motor skill, attaining a motor skill by repeating something. That, for example, typing is a, a muscle memory. So that's the same thing. So that's exactly yeah. the same thing, Rija. Exactly. For example, uh, another thing is uh, you might be wondered when we see, you know, these bank people, those who are counting money. Ooh, so yeah. Say, yeah, this is a muscle memory. That's they are repeating the same thing, and they might have got that muscle memory. Exactly. Exactly. I I, I count ten thousand rupees. The first time it is ten thousand. Second yeah. time, second yeah, time yeah. it is nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Yes. The third time again I go, and yes. there the, and I have a, and especially I know. Oh my goodness! There are there was one a student of mine. I think she was from Korea or from China or from Japan. When I was uh, I was the head of department in London, and I and I used to do a training program where you have to use the calculator. She used to speak to me and do all the calculation. Yes. Thinking, how yeah. how the heck are you doing this? She speaks to me and she does all the calculation like this. And that's uh, yes, exactly, Karen Rija. Thank you very much for highlighting that. Good. Any other question? Hi, Sensei. Yes, please. That is. Uh, uh, it is Mubashir. Mubashir. Yes, go ahead, please. Yeah, I have a question regarding. You usually talk about the power of one. Yeah. Am I right. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I can see many people, even successful people, uh, they are the entrepreneur. Uh -huh. Same time, they are the author, uh -huh. they are the trainer and coach. Regarding you also, I can see that. Mm. Okay, same time, you are the trainer or coach or author. Then I, have a, I need some clarification regarding power of one. That okay. you got my question. Yeah, 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 for sure. Thank you very much. Um, uh, what do I teach? What do I teach? So you teach values mm -hmm. or different topics here. Yeah. Do I teach football? No. Do I write books on football? No. Uh, do I teach Kabaddi? No. Do I coach Kabaddi? No. The books that I write, the coaching that I do, the speeches I do, everything is only one, that is leadership. Yeah, yeah. Okay. How many of you got it? Object is one. Those are different tools yeah. that I'm using. Writing a yeah. book is a tool. 
Speaking is a tool. Coaching is a tool. Helping others to become what I am is a tool. You can use different tools for that. I can, I can go and uh, write an article on LinkedIn. I can do that yeah. on, uh, on WhatsApp or on other social media. Th those are tools. Th those are channels. You can use different channels for sure. But your objective is yeah. one thing. For example, for example, Mubashir, if you, if you have a YouTube channel and uh, you, are, you are expert in cooking and, yeah. uh, and you release your video every, uh, every Thursday, okay, you release at five o'clock and people are there to watch and you've got millions of mm -hmm. uh, what they call followers or customers or what, whatever you call it. And then you, yeah. uh, instead of cooking, then you started talking about gardening or something else. And then something else about uh, parenting or maybe about uh, dog training and so forth. People get distracted. Definitely, yeah. Okay, now, right. now what happens? You'll start, you'll start seeing the, the break in the number of the followers. Why? Because you didn't stick on to one thing. Now, yeah. imagine that you are recording a video on cooking. Yeah. You take the video, you convert that onto an audio, and then yeah. you put that as a podcast. That's again on cooking. You take that and create a quote and post that on Instagram. That's also again about cooking. You share the yeah. same thing on WhatsApp. That's again about cooking. Now you are using different channels or platforms. However, you are known for one thing that is cooking. Yeah. Now, could you give me the name of a very good chef in Kerala who is, uh, who is uh, on the TV? Lakshmi Nair. Very good. Now, just, just imagine Lakshmi Nair coming on stage. I know that she's a lawyer as well. Am I right? She's the principal of a law college yes, or something. Law college. Okay, just, law so just imagine she comes on the stage and she sp speaks about law. Would you listen to her? The answer is no. Because you mm. have attached her. You have seen her. You have attached her to one thing and that is all about chef or cooking. Yeah, yeah. So that's how you connect with people. If you connect with people in different levels, they will leave you. They will, you won't get them. So if you want to be successful, don't do many things. Do one thing. Focus on one thing. You can use different channels for sure, but focus on one thing. Yeah, that's the lesson I got from you. Thanks. Thank you. Next, please. Any other question? Sensei, I have one more question. Can I ask? Nobody is asking. Yes. Yeah. No, uh, even now also you were talking about, you know, you can do one thing, then you can use different tools or you can use different platforms. Yeah. Like uh, now I am doing that, you know, PSP course. Yeah. Okay. In that, in that I'm, I'm doing that video challenge. Yeah. Okay. I thought the same one I can use as podcast. Absolutely. But you are talking about sometimes, sometimes, you know, you can use the same for, you know, as a writer. Yep. Okay, like you can how I can do that. Very you know, simple. Right time mask. Very, yeah. very simple. Very simple. The best the best way, see, I'll tell you today, technology is so fast, you don't have yeah. to touch your pen to write a book. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to do that. And I know that you you are having your own platform and LMS platform. What's the name of it? Laura am I right? Uh, Laurels, Laurels. Laurels, Laurels, Laurels. Okay. So uh, today, uh, today, if you want to write a book, you don't have to touch a pen at all. What you can do is you can, you can conduct, uh, uh, for example, a three-hour webinar. Okay? You can conduct a very simple, I'm teaching you this one, right? You can, those who are smart, they, you can take a note on this. You just conduct a three-hour webinar. That's it with, with your PowerPoint presentation. Okay? Yeah. And then what you do, you upload the PowerPoint presentation. That brings you money. Those who have done, how many of you have done the Speak and Spark and got your certification? How many of you got uh, the Speak and Spark certificate? How many of you have done that? How many of you did the Speak and Spark online session and got your certificate? That's, that's a free program. What was it? I didn't teach that because I, that was a recorded version, which I recorded on the 12th of April. Yeah, yeah. I recorded on 12th of April. I posted it. People were coming and watching that. Now at a later stage, I'll be selling that for, um, uh, for money. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now tell me how many of you have done on the boot camp? The boot camp, the boot camp, uh, I, I did it for five days. And I think uh, Shamira attended that live. And I think even uh, Anish attended that live that was done last year. And still it is making money for me. 
I sometimes charge yeah, 9,999 yeah. for the same thing. Sometimes I charge 999 for six days, the same thing. Now, if I take that and if I got the audio of that, Mubashir, if I got the audio of that, because you, this, that's an MP4, am I right? It's an MP4. Yeah. When I say video, it's an MP4 and you can, uh, you can ex extract the MP3 out of it. That becomes an audio. Yeah. Do you agree? And if I, yeah, take the, yeah. if I take the audio, there are, uh, there, there are websites which can convert your audio into text. And, and the, one, oh. the best one is rev.com, rev.com. Rev.com. RomeoEchoVictor.com. Okay. Rev.com, you just, they, they charge around about $60 per hour. So just imagine you got a three hour uh, uh, webinar, uh, you delete all those unwanted space, and send them the speaking part, it is converted into text format. Okay. And let's say that is now two hours, they'll be charging you $120. And they'll send you back, they'll send you back the text format. You take the test format and now you send it back to, uh, to fiverr.com and ask them to arrange it or format it into a book format. They'll do that. And then you get it back. Then you give it to an editor and ask them to edit and wherever there's a spelling error, whatever it is, and put your gra grammatical errors and all those things, fill it up. They'll do it. And then what you do, you again give it to the formatting into Fiverr. They format it. Then you send it to, to Amazon. Your book is ready. Within 15 days, your book is ready without touching the pen. You talk about Fiverr, am I right? Yes, Fiverr.com. F-I-V-E-R-R.com. Okay, that is that is one of the platforms. There are different other platforms which you can use. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So that means your your with one th with three hours you have liver you are leveraging your your um, your, your time. You are leveraging yeah, your definitely. time. You are just working for three hours, but that three hours will bring you money from different sources as uh, as podcast, as book, as uh, as this is what you call uh, as video. And the book itself, you can split it into two. Make uh, just. Come up with two chapters, give it for free as a lead generation. So now you, you that becomes a lead magnet. Now you bring people, you right. collect their email address, and that's how I collect all your email address and your your uh, uh, your uh, what do you call WhatsApp number. How did I get your number? Lead generation, yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah, it's yeah. all automatic. I don't do anything; it's done automatic. Everything. Yeah, that's great. Did I answer your question? Yeah, definitely. Thank you so much. It's a great help. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Next question. You've got 18 minutes more. Is this valuable? This chat is this talk. Is it valuable? The recharge? Yes. Zero to, yeah. Zero, yeah. to zero to 10. Give me a, uh, give me a number. 10.5. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Right. What's the next question you have? Go ahead. Uh, uh, sir, uh, can you ask one question? I am Ashraf from Jeddah. You can ask me a question for sure, Ashraf. And thank you very much, Ashraf, for you have been very consistent. And I, I've been noticing that you have been very consistent uh, in, uh, uh, in the coach challenge every day I have seen. I don't wash them because, because I'm, I have got tight schedule. So I don't wash them. And your coach... I seen Safa giving response to your uh, uh, your challenges, and the best thing is that you have never missed even a single day. If I am right, every day you come up and you give your uh, your thoughts on my coach. That's that's what makes you a leader. Consistency is the key to success. So Ashraf, go ahead. What's your question? Yes, sir, that is a very good support I am getting from the Bow Group. Thank you, sir, for your initi uh, initiative. Thank you. Uh, sir, one thing, just when I give a speech, you know, if I want to convert in a short, uh, you know, speeches to text, uh, how we can do in short one? What you talked about, you know, to long one, we can go to uh, other site, you know, REV and we can convert it to text. Mm -hmm. But if it is a short message, I'm, uh, you know, my study material, I want to, uh, you know, change from uh, voice to text. What, what is a simple way? So what, what you, what's the length of your speech? Uh, maybe half an hour like that. Okay, half an hour. There, there are two things that you can do. Either you, you record it and then you play and you rewrite it. Okay? You, rec yeah, you, you, record, you record it and then you rewrite it. And then there is another 
uh, another way because uh, on uh, the the uh, the, uh, the office that I'm using, Microsoft Office, there's a there's a way where you can play the audio and automatically start typing it. It is available in Microsoft. Yeah, you see, it's there on PowerPoint. It's there on Word document as well. Oh, okay. I will check that one. Okay. So you just have to play that and automatically start yeah. typing, and then later on you can make those corrections wherever required. Yeah. The, the, what, what is the correct naming? This is Microsoft Word Word test or something? What is the naming? No, it's in the Word one? Word document itself. You can see a mic on the side. You oh, okay, to, okay. You just have to click on the mic, and it will automatically capture your voice, and it will start typing. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Thank you very much. This is a good information. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay. Any other question? Good evening. Thank good, you, good evening. And that I'm Harris. Is Harris. Harris. Hi, Harris. Okay, Harris. Tell me what's how 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 is your training going on? What is your challenge number now? I finished the uh, fifteenth. Okay. Now I get uh, I get uh, uh, the podcast link uh, okay. for downloading and like that. Excellent, excellent. So, so you'll be having five podcast, and then you'll do the yeah. interview challenge. Good. Go ahead, please. Yeah. Yes. What's your question? Uh, can you tell me? Just tell me. Uh, I'm I'm trying to write uh, small articles or small books. So, how I can uh, go to Amazon and uh, how how is the procedure? Okay. Are are you trying to write or are you writing? Yeah, I'm writing. So in Malayalam. You, uh, so why did you use the word try? So why did you use no, no, the try? Right. Be very careful when no, you. No, it is my. First be very, very. It is my first book. That I would never use the word try with me. Okay, never use the word try with me. Okay, now you are writing a book in Malayalam. So Malayalam, I can't help you. I have no idea about it. Okay, if it is English, then okay. I can help you because Malayalam, I have no idea because okay. uh, I'll give you one uh, one email ID or uh, I can give you a WhatsApp number of one of my students uh, who has already published in Malayalam. Okay, I think he did in Malayalam. Yes, so I can give his number. You can contact him, and uh, he he will be more than happy to help you in, uh, in okay. producing your Malayalam book. Is that fine with you? Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Great. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Since how uh, I don't know, I have no idea uh, about podcast. Okay. How can I be familiar with? How can I use it? A podcast is a podcast is something. How can that, I learn it? Yes, yeah, sure, sure. Podcast is something which I was not aware of. I came across podcast. I think it was around about nine years back or ten years back. Uh, we had a challenge in the L and D department in in, the, in 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 Qatar Airways because I was the manager at that time. Oh, sorry, I was uh, a senior instructor at that time, and my manager, uh, his name is Tom Craig from Australia. He asked me to do a podcast. That was a term very new to me. very new to me it was foreign for me at that time he said farooq this is a challenge that you have and it was during the eid holidays and eid holidays in in the middle east we have seven days i remember my family was not there i had to work on and i'm a guy who sits on something i'll make sure that i get it done so i had to sit for seven days i made it happen and that's the first time i came to know that uh, on itune you can post it on itune those days there were no other platforms but today you have a lot of platforms one of the best platforms that i would recommend right now is anchor.fm it's a n c h o r .f m anchor like the ship anchor anchor.fm and you can you you can post your podcast there uh, podcast is part of our of our challenge if you are uh, in this uh, professional speaking and presentation program it it is a part of it if you don't want to join in that no problem you what you can do is you can just download this one it's called the anchor.fm and for sure you will be able to upload your voice directly or you can you can also upload as a file okay and if you want if you if you, you want if you. you want any help who can help him i know that there are a lot of people who have done podcast you have your own channels who can help you who can be a volunteer to help mr rajan I can. I Who is can. that? Benny, Benny, sir. Yes, yeah, go ahead. Or anybody yes. else? Yeah, Mr. Yeah, yeah. Benny has. Mr. Benny has already agreed. So, Mr. Benny okay. will help you. He is very good at podcasting. He did a fantastic interview, uh, beautiful. And uh, I also remember Ami Rashid did a very good interview with the world's uh, um, number one champion, uh, Manoj. Uh, what was uh, Mahadev? Like Mahadev. Vasudev. 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 Yeah. was they went maha uh, and he is the toastmasters champion world champion and amir rashid the wife of rashid who is right now here uh, 
Uh, she did an interview on podcast that was also very, very d- done very well. Yeah. So it's a very Thank good. Thank you, Zenty. Oh, you are here. Okay. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm uh, So she did this interview. That was an amazing interview. And uh, also, let me tell you, people are going from video to to podcast now. Okay. Pod, uh, radio used to be once upon a time. You, if you rem- remember, uh, Ceylon Radio and all those radios were there once upon a time. But now again, people have started going back to uh, to podcast. It, this is the best time for you to get into podcast business. I can see to my surprise, uh, when I checked the analytics, I could find around 10% of the people from the United States. I don't know <laughs> from which part of the US. <laughs> they are watching you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your Absol- podcast. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. You will be shocked when you look ah, at those. Yeah, yeah. Gra- uh, that's graphs. a power of podcast. That's it a power is. Of podcast. It is. I'll tell you, you'll get fans from everywhere. You'll get <laughs> fans from everywhere. So this is the this is the best time to start podcast. And when you do podcast again, like what I was mentioning to Mubashir, stick on to one niche, stick on to one niche and add value. That is your marketing part. Add value only on that particular niche. And after you have uh, hundreds of podcasts and you have this uh, uh, people watching you, you can come up with one podcast saying that I'm going to conduct a training program. Would you like to buy? You got me? After having many podcasts, which is adding value, you come up with one, one podcast, which says that uh, I'm, I'm coming up with a program. I'll tell you, those who have been listening to you or following you automatically, they have a tendency to come and see or, 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 or even buy your product. That's how you do your, your marketing, 90%, 10% sales. Okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay. Hi, Sensei. Shiny here. Hi, Shiny. How are you doing? Where's your rose? I can't see the rose. Yeah, deleted the rose now. Okay, go ahead. Um, Sensei, I just wanted to know about the program you mentioned uh, yesterday or day before. Yesterday, I guess. Yeah, the train the trainer program. Yeah. Uh, the train the trainer program is uh, going to happen by next month for sure. We are going to come up with it. It's uh, because it's a product which I already have, which I've been doing um, non that means uh, offline. Uh, I'll be having a session on on Sunday, uh, which would be ten o'clock Indian Standard Time, which I think would be around about eight o'clock in your place or seven thirty in your place. Uh, what time? Indian time. Ten o'clock morning. Ten o'clock, seven thirty. Yeah. Seven thirty. So. Oh, so that would be a session for around about two hours, whereby I'll be taking you a little bit of, of the train the trainer programs. What is it all about? And from there, I'll be taking you to the actual program, the train the trainer program. Train the trainer program. Train the trainer program is not a train the trainer program is, is, is not like a video based training. It's live session. Okay. It's a live session, just like a coach the coach program. Okay, whereby I'll giving it's not like video. You go and watch the video, like the PPCC, the uh, the uh, or or um, uh, um, uh, the professional speaking and presentation program, where you can go and watch uh, my videos and all those things. No, uh, the train the trainer program and CTC is live, where I'll be taking one person and I'll be coaching them, and everyone will be watching how I make them speak on stage. Okay. So it's a practical session. Okay, thank you, thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure. Uh, uh, sir, what is the objective of Train the Train program? Can to, you t- t- tell me that uh, the scope? Uh, to become a trainer. Very simple. Trainer, trainer or spe- is public speaker no, or no no no, uh, no, 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 no. It's a trainer is trainer, speaker is speaker. It's two different things. Oh, okay, okay. Here you can become a trainer, presenter, and uh, uh, a facilitator. Whereas when it comes yeah. to speaking, it's a different thing. Okay. Okay, okay. Here, here we'll help you to create your own courses and all those things. We do that as well. Uh, well when is it starting? Next month? Uh, we would be starting very soon next month itself. The date will be announced on Sunday when you come for the live session. We'll be announcing that. Okay, thank you. My pleasure. Since I shared the link in the chat box. Okay, so go ahead. It's there in the, share, uh, in the chat box. Just take it from there. And uh, uh, the registration has already started. We've, we've got only 100 seats. We never like to go more than 100. We keep it as 100, so you can just go register and make sure that you come in. Uh, it's a, um, a first come, for first basis. Okay. Any other questions? We've got six more minutes to go. 
what is the cost of this uh, program train the trainer uh, uh the one which is going to happen on sunday is free uh and uh, the uh, next the, month's program the, the next month program is going to be 4999 as advanced and the second, that's the first installment and the second installment is 15,000, total is 19,999. The actual fee is 49,999. Uh, you can share this one also. Uh, you can, uh, I'll share you something. Uh, uh, Anish, do you have that uh, uh, PDF? And how long uh, the duration of the program? The, the best part of it is just like the CTC, even after completing, you can still come. Fine, fine. Okay. okay so until now, otherwise, you are satisfied. You can keep on coming. New batch, new batch, free, absolutely free. You can come and join. I think uh, Anish. I will or, share in the group. Share in the yeah, WhatsApp group. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Anish would share the whole PDF in the WhatsApp group, so it will give you a clear sure. picture okay. about, about what it is all about. Okay. So uh, right now it is nineteen thousand nine hundred ninety-nine because we want to give it in a lower price, and then we'll be increasing. The actual fee is forty-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Good. Another question, please. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Rajini, you are from Calicut. Hi, Rajini. Go ahead, please. I had a lot of experience during this journey as a trainer, a taking maker, everything. So, what uh, could, you, you, could, you, could you repeat the question once again? Your, there's a background noise coming in. Okay, sir. You have a lot of experience in doing this journey as a trainer, as a kingmaker, everything. So what is the challenge you feel during this journey, sir? I, I don't feel any challenge for because I do what I love doing. And I, I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Uh, you, can unmute, you can mute yourself. There's a disturbance. Mute yourself. Okay, now let me answer the question. Uh, am I feeling any challenge? The answer is no. Now, why am I not feeling challenged? Number one, because I didn't, I didn't follow what my, somebody else told me to do. I followed my passion. How many of you are here who are following your passion? Raise your hands, please. Or go to the chat and say, I. If you're following your passion, all the challenges becomes, it will melt in front of you like the ice melts on a sunny day. You're with me? Uh, uh, you're with me, Rajni? So if you're following a passion, every challenge that is strong in front of you, like an iceberg, it will melt in front of you just like on a sunny day. So I'm following my passion. That's one thing I do. Since I'm following my passion, I wake up early in the morning. I have nothing to think about. I just think about my passion and that, and the time flies. I even don't, don't know about it. Number three, if you look at the president of United States, he will never fly in the frequency of any other aircraft. One thing I, I repeat, the President of the United States always fly in a high frequency, very high. Okay, the altitude is very high. An Air Force, Air Force One plane, which is a 747 Jumbo or Boeing 747, it flies in a height where the frequency, sorry, where, where, where uh, the turbulence is less, where the speed of the aircraft is too high. But down, down you'll feel traffics of aircraft going up and down. I call that as the Red Ocean. There are a lot of traffic there, a lot of aircrafts going up and down if you look at uh, the, from the ATC itself. Now, the plane of the president goes on top of all this plane. There is no other plane nearby and he flies. I have positioned myself in that place. Did you get me, Rajni? Meaning, yes. when you become a speaker or a presenter or a trainer, this is what I tell everyone. Always do not be in the group. If you are in the WhatsApp group, let me tell you, I'm very honestly speaking to you. If you are in the WhatsApp group of your own business people, it's time for you to get out of the WhatsApp group. Now that may sound very strange. You might be thinking, well, I'm a trainer. I want to have other trainers, other speakers. I want to know what's happening. No, they'll distract you. How many of you agree to that? Just raise your hands, please. If you are a trainer, if you're a facilitator, if you're a coach, the first thing you have to do is to distract, sorry, to declutter. And one of the things to declutter is to get out of any WhatsApp group that is distracting you, even if it's in the same business, you have to move, from, move away from that so that you think differently. Otherwise, what's going to happen? You are, with the, you are not with the eagles, but you are with the chickens and the turkeys and the ducks, and you will follow what they are doing, and you will come down. They'll pull you down. So since I, I have no, I, 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 don't, um, I don't associate myself What's going to happen? I associate myself with the best of the best in the world. I pay for it. I make sure because always keep in mind, 
that the journey to greatness is never to be done with misery. Once again, I repeat, don't be cheap. Once again, I repeat, don't be cheap in your journey to greatness. I want you all to say that in your mind. Never be cheap in your journey to greatness. What does that mean? If you want to become great, if you want to become successful, if you want to add value to people, don't ask, is there any free course? Is there any free course? People who ask, is there any free course? I like to join free course. I already know that they are cheap. Okay. And the second thing is if, uh, if there is someone who's saying that I have got a course, I uh, got an online course, I have done the course, I'll give you the link. You also go and learn cheap. How many of you agree to that? Never do that. Do never become cheap in when you're educating yourself, when you're learning yourself, show that greatness and gratefulness, then only you'll become big. If you are looking only for free, free consultation, free coaching, free book, free training, automatic what's going to happen, you will never grow and nobody's going to pay you because your mindset is slow. So Regini, if you want to become a, a top speaker, trainer, presenter, I don't know what is your background. If you want to get into that level, you have to you have to get rid of all those noises and be very clear. You have to invest. It has to be your pure money. Invest the money and go for it. And to become a train the trainer program, a day for a or something, uh, my teacher, his name is uh, Blair Singer. He was selling the same program. There were around about 700 people attending his program. And he was selling the same train the trainer program, which I'm giving you for 19,999. He's selling the same program for 1,45,000 rupees. 1,45, sorry. 145,000 Indian rupee. And in most of the cases, it's only video. I think he has got only four classes or six classes, which he would be doing directly on Zoom, just like what I do. All the remaining is on a, a video because he is charging that because his brand value. And definitely I'll be going and learning from people like him. Otherwise, why should I go and learn? I, I invested money. I went for his training program. I learned from him. Every month I invest. Every month I invest. Why? Because I want to... Be, I want to be grateful and therefore I have to do that. What's the time? Nine o'clock? Yes, let's go for another five minutes more. Thank you, Zena. Let's okay. Uh, so okay, Reg five minutes more. Thank you. Rajni, did I answer your question? Uh, yes, sir. Yes. Got it. Good. I'll take one last question. I'll take one last question. Anyone? One last question, I'll, and then Sorry. we'll wind up. Can, can I ask again? Yes, please. I'm Harris Otavala. Yeah. Uh, sir, now I am in uh, 15th. I al already told that I'm in 15th challenge from PPCC. Mm -hmm. So uh, how I can initiate a, a start uh, for uh, training some people? Uh, don't do anything. We, 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 are, we are not teaching you how to train. Uh, We're not teaching you how to train. We are teaching how to speak and do the presentation. Am I right? Yeah. And so finish, yeah. finish that program first. Finish the program. Okay, okay. Don't jump before you finish it. So uh, we say finish okay. it, learn that, then you do it. Don't jump now because okay. people, people will start evaluating you. Okay. okay, okay. Okay, thank you. My pleasure. Anybody else? We've got three more minutes, then we'll wind up. Three minutes more. Any question, feel free to ask and I'm more than happy to answer your questions. No? Okay, if no, then thank you. Yeah. Yeah, one question. How yes. leaders how leaders set the goals? How leaders set the goal? Uh, the leader, uh, uh, how did you know we know the, uh, about this program? Vivek, sorry, Vivek, how did you yeah. know this program? In LinkedIn, there is the one link. So okay. I see in the LinkedIn, so I joined. So first time yeah. I am joining and I uh -huh. I thought I will join only for four, five minutes, just see. And after that is so powerful. Uh -huh. So I am in something in the middle. I leave that one and then I continue this. That is how you set the goal. Very simple. You saw that and you set the goal that you will go and attend this program at 7.30 p.m. with somebody called Farooq and say, I don't know him. I'll sit there for three minutes. That means what did you do? You set the goal. Okay. You set the goal. Is that correct? Yes, yes. So similarly for everything, if you're a leader, you will set the goal for maybe for one year, maybe for two years and maybe for three years. Now, again, when you set the goal as a leader, you will not set the goal for yourself. You will be setting goal for yourself. You will be setting goal for the six different wheels. Financial goal, administrative goal, 
all those goals, you'll be setting goals for every areas of your business. Only then your business will move forward. You agree? Yes. If you just set a goal for yourself and you didn't set a goal for each department, the department goal has to be set by the department head. However, you will have to sit with the department heads. If you don't set goal for them automatically, you want to reach there, but the, the vehicle or your business won't go there with your speed. Okay. Am I right? So therefore, yes. it's, it's, it's a combined goal with one vision. It's a combined goal okay. with one vision. That's when your bus starts moving forward. Okay. Okay. And, and, and for sure, it has to be a smart goal, which is specific, uh, measurable, measurable. Uh, measurable and attainable and all those things. Okay. It was time reliable. Bound, time, reliable yes. time bound and all those things. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. So all leaders, all speakers and all coaches, thank you very much for your time. I believe that I was able to add some value to your life. So thank you each and every one of you. Uh, being there, Shiny, uh, Chandrika, and Anish, and Benny, Korean, I got uh, Rija, Rija, and then I got Rishi, Zana, thank you very much, Mujib Rahman, Mujib, you didn't ask me any question today, uh, Sonia, thank you very much, Brishni, thank you very much, Mubashi, thank you, uh, Shamira, Mohammed, thank you, Sensi, Ami, thank you very much, Akil, thank you very much, Vivek, thank you very much, Arshad, thank you very much, Fabian, Binoy, uh, Ali, M.A. Ali, you are new to me. I know that. Mohammed uh, 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 Najib. Actually, I have one question. Uh, no, 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 your time, I, is I, time is gone. Time is gone. Time is gone. Time is gone. Okay, Niaz, thank you very much. Niaz, thank you very much. Thanks a lot to all of you. All thank take care. And Valley thank, thank, thank you very much. Amjad, thank you very much. Jamshida, thank you very much. Jasir. Thank you very much. Why don't you open your mouth, Jasir? Dr. Jasir, you're not at all opening your mouth. Altaf, thank you very much. Ajmal, thank, thank you. you very much. Sanju, thank you very much. Binoy, thank you very much. Brill, Brilli, why don't you open your voice? Your voice is so soothing voice. And he, open your mouth now. Brilvi, say hi to everyone now. Because he has got such a wonderful voice and he's not at all talking. Brilvi, just switch on and open. Say hi to everyone. Dr. Brilvi, go ahead. Hi, hi. Good evening, Sensei. Thank Very you good. so much. He, he, has, he has got such a <laughs> uh, such a blessed voice, and he is hiding himself. See, okay. actually, actually, I I I I was here to get a lot of charge from you. Okay. Actually, um, you are the reservoir of charge. Thank mm -hmm. you. Oh, I thought I was only get for a charge. I, actually, what happened is I I have a, a lot of a gap between uh, this. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, the courses in between because mm -hmm. of the uh, completion of my uh, PhD program. Yeah. So I was uh, totally disturbed and I was actually, I have a kind of uh, uh, disappointment because I, I lost in touch with my <laughs> dearest sensei. So <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We are here. Always, Brilvi, Dr. Brilvi, do understand that we are here to help you and support you. Okay. So don't worry. This is a family. And this has always been a family and it will remain as a family. Love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. So, so, so take care of yourself. I am also, I also came for a charge to charge myself. Who is that? Who is that? Where, uh, yeah, after a long time. Who is that? I can't see the name. Rija. Uh, hi, Rija. Hey, Rija, how are you doing? How are you doing? Good, good. <laughs> it's been quite a long time. So I thought to charge myself. Did you get the battery <laughs> charge? Did you get the battery <laughs> charge? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. This happens every Thursday. You're more than welcome to come and join this program every Thursday. Right? Sure. Thank you very much. You all take care of yourself and see you on Sunday. If you got the link, make sure that you don't miss that on Sunday, 10 a.m. Indian Standard Time. Take care of yourself, all of you. Good night. Thank you, Sensei. Good night. Thank you, Sensei. Good night. Thank you. Good night, Sensei. Bye.